This week, I had the privilege to speak to the parents of Special Forces soldier Aaron Butler from Monticello, Utah. From the time Aaron was in the first grade, he wanted to join the military and serve our country. After a legendary career, from the time Aaron was in the first grade, he wanted to join the military and serve our country. After a legendary career as a four-time state wrestling champion at Monticello High School, Aaron joined the Utah National Guard. Within a few years, he was one of just four soldiers who graduated with honors from the Army Green Beret Special Qualification Course. Throughout his service, Aaron's teammates and superior officers regarded him as a natural leader with an unmatched work ethic. He was tough and dedicated. He loved our country, and he took his responsibility to protect it seriously. On August 16, 2017, Aaron was serving as a staff sergeant in Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 19th Special Force Group of the Utah National Guard on his first combat deployment that should have ended in October. Tragically, an explosion occurred while he was clearing a booby-trapped building in Afghanistan, killing Aaron and injuring 11 teammates. His family, seven siblings, parents, and fiance, as well as his teammates, were devastated. His hometown and the rest of our state mourned this tragic loss. His sister said that if Aaron had given his own eulogy, he would have said, I came, I lived, I killed bad guys, I died. Aaron and his, con and Aaron and his courageous sacrifice will never be forgotten. Our country is forever indebted to the service of Aaron and countless others who make daily sacrifices to protect our country and keep us safe. And our country is likewise forever indebted to the families that have supported them. Like many others, I've been blessed by the dedicated, dedicated military service of a family member. My father served in the Navy during World War II. I was reminded of his great service during a recent visit to the U.S. Naval Academy, where I had the honor to meet with a group of Utah cadets and during visits recently with U.S. troops stationed in Poland and Abu Dhabi. This weekend, we will celebrate Memorial Day and take the opportunity to express our deepest and most profound gratitude to those who have fallen in the service of our country. I thank them, their families, and all those who are willing to serve. Our way of life and every ideal we hold dear has been built on the sacrifice of these heroes. This week, I'm proud to speak in support of the proposals in the National Defense Authorization Act that will provide our troops with support to increase capability and capacity in a force that has been asked to do too much with too little for too long. In this, I'm pleased to support a well-deserved pay raise for our troops and extend special pay and bonuses to service members in high demand fields, something our service members and their families have more than earned. After heroically serving this country, our veterans deserve their very best that we can give them back home. This week, I was honored to support more than a dozen veterans' bills that passed the House. These proposals will help improve the lives and honor the men and women who have served so selfishly. This legislation will help provide for disabled veterans who have been wounded in service. It will ensure our veterans have access to the care and resources they have earned. It will bring our homeless veterans off the street. It will ease educational burdens placed on our veterans by the federal government. It will provide our veterans from the dangers of opioid abuse. And it will increase accountability at the Department of Veterans Affairs to guarantee those brave individuals and their families receive the quality of service they deserve. This Memorial Day, we honor the dedicated generations of men and women who have fought for our country and ensured our freedom. May we all strive every day to live worthy of their sacrifice and may God bless the United States of America.